Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny Allen and before we get started with today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed, that you thumbs up this video and check the description box below because I always have lots of information in the description box below. So for today's video, um, I'm going to do a review and a go through of the new Strong's Expanded Exhaustive concordance of the bible it's the red letter edition and you've got the hebrew and greek dictionaries expanded to over 600 pages every word of the bible is indexed even the be the thou the unto the upon everything is indexed and it's by james strong and it's expanded with the best of Vines Dictionary and the Old and New Testament words. So let's tuck in to this book. Let's tuck in. So, firstly, we've got the main concord, we've got the um, abbreviations here. So, for the main concordance, if you don't know how to use a, a concordance um, and you would like to see how I use my concordance, please drop me a comment in the comment section below because I really go into a lot of word studies and Bible studies when I use concordances. So please make sure that you drop a comment below if you would like to do, if you'd like to see me see how I use the Strong's Concordance, okay? So you've got an introduction here, the main concordance. And here you have it. We're starting with Aaron. So everywhere that Aaron is mentioned in the Bible, it's done in, in, in Bible order, starting from Genesis right up until Revelations. And everywhere... Aaron, every scripture that Aaron is, is used, the word Aaron is used in, is listed here in order. And then you've got here the, because the Old Testament is written in Hebrew, you've got the Hebrew reference, which is 175, along in this third column. So the first column, you've got the, at the top, you've got Aaron. And then in this first column, you've got the verse where the word Aaron is mentioned. Then you've got the scripture. And then you've got the Hebrew reference number on the side. And at the top here, it's got C. Aaron's, Aaronites, first high priest of Israel, brother of Moses. So you have a description of who Aaron was and what he did and what the name means and it gives you extra reference we've got an extra reference here 319 and it also gives you what it means or how it's written in the Hebrew text okay let me zoom in so that you can see that there we go you see so there it is in the original Hebrew text, you've got another reference there and the description. There we go. And then you've got your three columns. So let me show you another word here. Um, let's have a look at the word abundance. Let me scroll out for you. Here you've got the word abundance. You've got the another reference here, so you've got um, sixty-eight. That's it, another ref that's a reference there. Then you've got every reference along here, every scripture uh, that the word abundance is used. You've got the red letter um, for the Gospels here, where abundance is used, and then it goes back to the black writing for the rest of the New Testament. But when it's written in red, it is out of the four Gospels. 
okay and then you've got the scripture reference and then you've got the meaning here you've got um, another reference um, that interprets what the word abundance means depending on what verse that you're looking at because you know the Hebrew language is very rich very abundant whereas the English language it's quite static so for example you can have the word complete uh, in English and it means one thing but maybe complete in the Hebrew it has about 10 meanings so here the word abundance and then depending on what context it was used what chapter what book of the Bible it was used and the context here you've got different numbers for the word abundance that are referenced so for example excuse me you've got in Psalm 72 verse 7 you've got the reference number 7230 but further up here in Job 22 verse 11 you've got another reference for another meaning of the word abundance 8229 so when you're still doing a word study having a Strong's Dictionary can make your Bible study very, 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 very rich indeed. Very rich indeed. Okay, so let's go. So you've got the Hebrew going through the alphabet and it's got every word in the Bible is in the Strong's Dictionary. I didn't really like the, um, I didn't like the e-version. I didn't like looking at it online. I preferred having the book. So, or I, and I didn't like the Kindle version of it either. I prefer having the book um, because to me, I can really kind of dig in a bit more when I have the, when I have it in a written text. So there we go. So we've got the going up to W and then the next section, all the way up to Z here, the next section is appendix of articles, conjunctions, prepositions, etc. So for here, you have the word, so everywhere that the word, that the letter A is used, every scripture is listed here where the word a is used every scripture where let me zoom in for you every scripture that the word is about that the word about is used every scripture is listed here every scripture that the word according is used is listed here every scripture okay and then every scripture where the word against is used is listed here okay so you can really really get into a good study every word that the everywhere that the word also is used all the scripture references are here so you've got also all the way down there and going up here okay the next section is the strong's the new strong's expanded dictionary of the words of the hebrew bible with their renderings in the king james versions and then you've also got some adaptations from vines and you've got cross references to other word study resources so here it's, it gives you an explanation on how you use this section of the concordance. So it encourages you to read this first, how to use the Hebrew and Aramaic dictionary. Okay, so that shows you, so that's important to read that first, which, which is what I will do. And then here you've got an example from the Hebrew and Aramaic dictionary. And it shows you it breaks it down and shows you how to use it shows you how to use it okay and then here you have abbreviations and then here you have the exhaustive concordance so where we were looking at earlier where 
for example you were looking let's see you're looking at the word familiar which is what we've got here familiar and it will give you the reference on this side 3045 don't forget remember when i said that you had the references in the third column well depending if you're looking in on the hebrew or the greek we're looking at the hebrew at the moment here you would go and you would look for the reference number so i will scroll in so here the reference numbers in the third column here you will have your reference numbers and they are all in number order so when you go to the reference number you will see the word written in hebrew you will see it there also written um in the actual Hebrew text, then you've got it written in Hebrew here, and then it gives you a description of the word and how it's used and why it's used, and the scriptures that that particular script that particular word is used, and it will go into detail about that particular word. Okay, so there's your Hebrew dictionary that we just looked at, and here is your Greek dictionary which is exactly the same thing when you go to the, if you're looking at a word in the New Testament, you will see the third column with the number of references. And when you've selected a, a verse that you're looking at and you go to the number of reference, you will come to the Greek section of the dictionary, find your number reference. Here, for example, we can look at the the word the number 80 reference so you look for the reference number is written in greek and then it will go through what that word means in the greek okay then you've got the complete topical index to the bible so you've got all the different topics in the bible so for example we've got the word aaron here which means bright You've got the ancestry and family of Aaron. And then it goes into, it lists everyone and all the scripture references. Okay. Then it will talk, then here we've got priesthood. And then it's got the priesthood of chosen by God, sons in the office, anointed with the oil. It goes through the whole um, topic and the scripture references. So any topic you want to know about in the Bible, you will come to this section, the complete topical index. You get your descriptions and you get the scripture references as well. Okay, then at the back now, you've got the harmony of the Gospels. You've got the date, event, location. You've got Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then you've also got related references from other parts of the Bible. So you've got the harmony of the Gospels here. You have the teachings and illustrations of Christ. You've got the subject. And then you've got the reference. Subject, reference. Okay. And then you've got the parables of Jesus from the New Testament, every parable. I'm actually going to be doing um, some videos based on the parables of Jesus. So this is going to come in really handy for me. So you've got the par all the parables of Jesus listed with their references. Okay, then you've got the miracles of Jesus across the Gospels. And then you've got prophecies of the Messiah fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So you've got every prophecy here. You've got the prophetic scripture, you've got the subject, and then you've got the fulfillment of that uh, prophecy with the scripture there. Then you have the laws of the Bible. The laws. So you've got one here is one uh, forms of government citizenship citizenship under theocracy laws of the theocracy so you've got the different laws of the bible here which would make a really good study um subject to do with estates 
descent and distribution laws. You've got laws here pertaining to contracts. You've got laws here, social security and welfare laws and all the relevant scriptures. So this is going to be really, really interesting to this will um, really give some roundedness to your personal Bible study. So then here you've got Old Testament chronological, sorry, Old Testament chronology. What happened when? And then here you've got prayers of the Bible. So you've got the subject and then you've got the reference. So you've got a prayer where Daniel prayed for knowledge, Daniel chapter 2, verse 17 to 23. You've got here where Abraham prayed for Sodom, Genesis chapter 18, verse 20 to 32. You've got here Jesus prayed at Lazarus's tomb, John chapter 11, verses 41 to 42. Okay, then you've got the Jewish calendar, Jewish feasts monies and weights, New Testament monies, and that is it. Then you've got measures of length, dry measures, and liquid measures. Okay, so, so that was a brief overview of the Strong's Concordance. As I said, if you want to, if you'd like to see me use this concordance in my own study, drop me, um, a note in the comment section and um, then I can um, prepare that and do that so I hope you enjoyed this video please remember to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video okay God bless <music>